so what is going on everyone metaverse with you here welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install your own high stereo vpn server and let us begin so firstly you are going to need a vps provider that will provide you with a vps that you'll be able to install your high stereo server to be running on your phone and let us begin firstly you can go ahead and click here on the try now button i'm going to be putting all the links in the description so go ahead click on the try now button it's going to redirect you to this website here okay so if you find it to be in european dollar european shillings just come up here and then click onto the usd and save here it will give you us dollars and at a minimum of uh just five dollars just go ahead and select this one if you want to get a tutorial of how you can install or get yourself one of these servers you are going to have to check out for the video link in the description so go ahead just click and follow what i'm doing here you'll be just good to go so go ahead select one month if you want to go for a full year you are going to save yourself but right now we have a promotion of a one-time fee that is not actually being charged you can go ahead and buy one of yours here in the european union if you want to add for the united states you are going to be charged a little bit more but you can go ahead and use the european union just go ahead and select the select the nvme because it's much faster than the ssd so just go ahead and select the nvme which is also free here it's up to you if you want to go for the biggest pass but i usually want to go for the faster one it's it's little but it's much faster so go ahead and maybe select the ubuntu 22 or 24 whatever you want will be working just fine and then go ahead the rest i think is the same just leave everything the way it is the only thing you need to do is just go ahead and input your password here or you can just go ahead and generate a new password or just input your own password that you'll be able to remember in this then click next yeah okay so if you're creating very private or individual you're gonna have to create your own account or if your business just enter your business account and whatever it is so input your name input your last name and you'll be able to get yourself the server and we can go ahead and continue okay so i've already gotten mine and the tools that you're going to be using in this one you are going to go into the collections tab here and then you shall go into the files tab and then look for the software downloads here and then what you're going to need you're going to need party and you are going to need win scp so party is just going to allow us to open the terminal and the win scp is going to allow us to edit some files in the server okay so just go ahead and download party and you will go also ahead and download win scp and you'll be good to go so when you come here i already have mine and uh okay pretty so just go ahead and open party okay so i already have my server that i got from uh, the, the providers there so i'm just going to copy this and then log into party let's go ahead and open let me bring this here let me enlarge it Okay, just go ahead and log in. I'm going to be logging in as root. And I'm going to enter the password. So if you are interested in buying this server, I'm going to be putting the link in the description of how you can purchase one of these. Okay, so after you log in, you are going to have to go ahead. You go ahead and install party and install this. It's going to be used later. So go ahead and go to the collections tab here. And then go to files then scroll down look for script installation files and then we're going to scroll to the bottom and go for the high syria high syria vpn and then we are going to go for the high stereo playing script i'm still working on the prototype there is more that i have to add to this script but right now it's working fine according to the test that i have taken so just go ahead so we are going to be doing a copy and paste exercise here so we are going to open this and i am actually going to do a side by side installation here okay go ahead and bring this guy here okay so firstly 
as usual this is our linux server we are just going to just copy this and then come in here and press enter so it's just a copy and paste exercise just go ahead and update and if it requests you to enter yes just press y and press enter okay just go ahead and we are going to copy the next command here to install the script in our server so it's very simple and easy just go ahead and right click to paste enter there you go so we wait for it to install okay there we go the installation is actually done and yeah that is all you need for now okay so after the installation is done we are going to have to go and open our software that i talked about earlier that we are going to okay so just click the start button here and then type in win win scp after you've done the installation okay so i haven't updated mine but you will be able to so just come here yours will not be the same as mine just go ahead and let me just copy this okay you have to copy your ip address that you are going to be using just come here to the new site and then go ahead and paste in your host and then just go just go ahead and enter your username which is going to be root we can save and okay and then we can log in okay so it's going to prompt you the password you make sure you we put in the password that you had put in earlier when you're registering for this server because you need a public ip in order to access this vpn so we are going to have to go ahead and enter the password of my server and there we go okay so let me take it exactly where i need it to be okay so it's going to display two for two files i mean two two pages here it has the local computer that you're working on this will be it uh, i mean documents here but now on the right hand side we are having because you can see on the right hand side we have the root files which are the linux files that are for this server okay so what we're going to need to go is we are going to have to look for etc and we are so what we're looking for are the configurations that we're going to be using in our phone okay so just click on any of the files here and press the letter h so that it brings you any 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 folders that are, are are linked to the letter H. So I have Hyseria here. So go ahead and double click, and the file that we're looking for is the config.yaml. So just go ahead and double click this one. Okay, so you can see that we have this. So these are the details that you are going to be inputting in your phone. Okay, so when I go ahead and open my phone here, go ahead and open your phone. And we are going to go ahead in my case I'm using HTTP injector you can go ahead and install HTTP injector is what I used for testing and you are going to actually just come down here and select uh, okay so let me just go ahead and put in my Wi-Fi here okay just go ahead and select hysteria have so many options here go ahead and select hysteria and press the save button so we can go ahead and use the default dns which is cloud just just yeah cloud dns okay just go ahead here and go to the settings okay so we are going to go above here to the three dashes that you can see up here click on them and then go to the high series settings and then we are going to be presented with this page okay so we're simply going to be copying and pasting whatever we have on this page so we are going to have to come here to the host server so that our host server is going to be the no our host server is going to be the ip address of the server that we bought and let me just go ahead and use whatever i have for the new session and i have this load let me copy my ip address here copy and then when i come in here okay we are
are going to let me just let me just write it the way it is let me just copy it the way it is okay so i have a 194 dot Okay, so here you're going to input your server and next you are going to have to put in the port that you selected in my case I selected this port here which is five six seven eight okay go ahead and press OK and then we are going to go to the authentication password let me pray it's actually going to copy and paste because it's failing to do the copy Oh, come on Just right click and copy then let's come in here and paste now it's actually failing let me just go ahead and type in manually so this is yo yo strong okay password There you go. Uh, make sh make sure everything is the same. Uh, S is uppercase and P is also uppercase. So just go ahead and click OK. And then when you come to the OB OBFS password, just go ahead and type in Salamander. Okay, so Salamander one two three. And go ahead and press OK here. Okay, so the SNI might be optional. You might input it. You might leave it. In my case, let me just put Bing, Bing.com. Yep. Yeah, it's usually the default. Just go ahead, leave everything the way they are, and we are going to just go ahead and press the but button here. Okay. So before I, I I start the before I start this VPN, I'm going to have to go to my browser here and check. Okay, so when I check my IP address and refresh, you realize that this is my IP address right now. But when I go ahead and activate my VPN here, it has to match my IP address of my high server server that I'm running. But I made a mistake. Let me have to check here and correct my okay my logins here. One, two, three. Let me also check Salamander here. Yeah, Salamander is okay. So we are gonna go back and then we are, we can go ahead and enable DNS Cloudflare, improve privacy, internet. Okay, just go ahead and you can leave this all, check it and just go ahead and press start. Okay, so it has to usually bring an advert. There you go, to show that you're all successfully connected. But then when we come down here, we we'll come down here to go ahead and refresh this page here. So just go ahead and maybe say refresh. You realize that now our IP address has actually changed to the IP address of our server that we bought. And it is working just fine. So we go ahead and refresh. It brings the IP address. It means that we have connected successfully. And when we go back and disconnect this and come back to refresh our server, it goes back to our internet IP address. Okay, now finally, if you want to change the password from the default, so you can go ahead and just um, just just go ahead and change the password here. You can go ahead and type in whatever you want. Maybe you can say admin. Yes, admin one two three and then you can also change this to anything like uh, let's say uh test one two three yeah oh four yes whatever you save will be just fine for you you can also go ahead and maybe change the port if you want to change the port to maybe maybe port six thousand you can just go ahead and change that and then when you click save just go ahead and click save and then you are going to have to come back to the the script here 
and then copy this command here copy the restart command go ahead and restart this server go ahead and right click to restart high serious server then click enter then it would have it would have restarted so what you have to do is you just have to go ahead and change the details in your phone and your vpn will be working just fine the other thing is if you want to check whether your your high serious server is actually working you are going to have to just go ahead and copy this command here for checking the status go ahead and check party and then click and um, right click to paste and then press enter and then it will show you now in my case i have it active and running and it is enabled so that is how you can finally install your high serial vpn server so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section down below i will appreciate so much if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace